An old friend of mine asked me the other day what role politics should play in the workplace. It's a great question. Here's my answer. Okay, depending where in the world you are, this question may have a very different answer. So for this episode, I'm going to assume you live in a country where there's a free will about politics and what you can say and where you can say it. I know some of the viewers don't live in those countries, and I wouldn't presume to tell you how to survive given the conditions you're under. So assuming you can have free will about what you say, politically wise at work, let's discuss the problem, the principle, and the practice. Okay, first of all, the problem. Politics is one of the subjects you may just find there are no right or wrong answers. The reality is it's often about opinions. Sometimes those opinions are based on facts, but sometimes they're just opinions. When you have power, your opinion is something your subordinates typically worry about and what effect it'll have on them. When others have more power than you, your opinion will be used to judge you. In business, we should try and keep focus on our business ideas and our data, not our opinions. You know, people become very emotional about things like politics. So as a leader, you don't want to put your people in a difficult position around non-business things like politics. So, principle. How do you deal with this in principle? In principle, I believe that religion, sex and politics are better left out of the workplace. And that's really the principle I suggest you stick to. Now, you may be socializing with some of your colleagues, but remember, even though you have a beer in hand, if you are around those colleagues in practice, you're still at work. So how do you deal with this in practice? Okay, clearly the subject of politics is gonna come up at work. Some of you may even work in businesses that are directly affected by political decisions being made. If this is the case, focus your comments on the business effects of those decisions. Articulate your case in terms of your customers, your partners, and your business. Try to avoid making any business case that uses your political views as the example or the case itself. Bottom line here is most senior business leaders have strong political views and they often bring them to work. When you're the most senior person in your company, you can make that choice. Till then, focus on your job and not your personal opinions.